Greetings science students. Let's just start with a very basic and broad definition of what we actually mean by breathing. So breathing is taking air from within the lungs and also outside of the lungs, outside of the body, so that a gas exchange can occur. Now there are two key brain structures that play a major role in the breathing process. Let's start with the medulla. So the medulla basically deals with the mechanics of breathing by sending messages nervously down the nervous system to the key muscles that regulate the breathing process, namely the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. Now the pons here, which is also part of the brainstem along with the medulla, it plays a key role in the rate of breathing depending on the level of activity that the individual or organism is involved in at the time. Now, in terms of the mechanics of breathing, the intercostal muscles play a major role because they enable the chest cavity to expand and contract as we inhale, exhale, and alter the volume of the lungs. The other key muscle that's involved in the mechanics of breathing is the diaphragm, which helps move the lungs up and down and therefore increasing and decreasing the volume of the lungs, which alters the air pressure in the lungs, which I'll get to shortly. So when we breathe in, our intercostal muscles and our diaphragm both contract. And when we exhale, breathe out, our diaphragm and our intercostal muscles relax. Consequently, when we breathe in, the volume of our lungs is increasing. And when we breathe out, the volume of our lungs is decreasing. And so the way this works is as the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles contract, this causes the rib cage to expand, which increases the volume of the lungs. And so therefore, in order to equalize that pressure, we breathe in more air to create that equilibrium. And then as the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles relax, our rib cage gets smaller, the volume of the lungs decreases. And so therefore we need to exhale that air in order to equalize the air pressure in our lungs.